Welcome back to Obermatt Investing. Today we are looking at returns in 2015, especially how good these returns were compared to the stock markets. We want to know what the Obermatt top 10 stocks returned to the investors and we compare this to the indices. And you have it here in front of you on the slide, on the graph, where I show all four strategies, combined growth, safety, value, and the average of all four. What we see are first the blue bars, which are the focus market markets, the family-friendly stocks, the climate-friendly stocks, and others. And we see the red bars, which are the index markets. These are the ones you're truly interested in. You want to know if you pick stocks based on the Obermatt top 10 lists, are your stocks better than just a plain index or just better as the entire market? And I can answer you in 2015, 15, they were actually better. If you look at the average, we have an outperformance of the top 10 stocks of 4% against the indexes. And that's not just one index like the Standard Poor's or the FTSE 100. It's 51 indexes that we measured. And in 71% of the cases, the Obermatt top 10 stocks were better than their corresponding indexes. As a matter of fact, the best strategy in 2015 was the growth strategy, followed by the safety strategy and the value strategy. And I recall a recent article that I read about what the experts think about 2015. And the experts think that in 2015, most stocks did badly, except a couple of stocks that are still growing. You know, investors that are desperate have all moved to stocks that still seemed to move up a little bit at least. And that's what we also see in the Obermatt top 10. The growth strategy was the best in 2015. Followed by the safety strategy, also something, you know, understandable. People want to be, you know, with safe companies. This means with companies that have uh, safe financing. And the worst strategy, still a little bit positive, but only in the 1% to 2% area, is the value strategy. In 2015, people didn't care about value anymore. This now, I think, is a perfect picture of a bubble. And it, in the first two weeks of 2016, 16, we actually had you know, confirmation that we are in bubble territory. What you can also see from this graph is that the top 10 stocks in the focus markets had a tougher time. Only the growth strategy outperformed the focus markets. Let's have a look why. I've looked at the absolute returns, which you see here on the second graph, the absolute returns of the different markets we cover. We cover family-friendly markets, climate-friendly markets. Uh, we cover good governance companies and sound incentives. This means companies that pay their executives in a sound way. And all these focus markets have been better than the indexes themselves, which you see here on the fourth column, the index markets had the worst return. So when you are going beyond uh, just picking any stock that is out there on the stock market and select your own stocks based on sensible criteria like climate friendliness or family friendliness, um, then you already have a better return than an index alone. And this actually confirms a prejudice I have all the time. I believe the indexes are a bunch of companies that, um, that uh, are there just out of arbitrary reasons. Because anybody who has a company big enough can decide to float on stock markets. And if they achieve a certain size, they have to be included in the indexes that doesn't make them a sensible investment yet. And this a little bit reflects that. You know, if you use already just a little bit, you know, intelligent criteria, you're performing a lot better. That, I think, is good news for Obermatt because our Obermatt top 10 stocks were better in 2015. Our strategies worked. It doesn't mean that they will work in 2016. As a matter of fact, I would expect that the strategies work better in some years than in others. 
and in some years they may even be negative. Last year it was the growth strategy that worked really well. You know, maybe this year it's the safety strategy when everybody panics. Who knows? We don't know in advance, we can't tell. But the good news is, in two out of three cases, Obermott Top 10 outperformed the stock markets in 2015. I wish you good luck with your own investing. And if you want to see this, in, this, this information, every index, you go to our website. The link is below in the description where we show the performance of each market as a percentile rank, as a rank from 0 to 100, which has, has the big advantage. You don't have to know much about finance except being able to count from 0 to 100 because then you see which market performed the best and which the worst. I wish you good luck with your own investing. Goodbye.